Hello, today I am in a quite a unique place in Venice for your Quattro Minuti con Casanova. I am in the Giardini delle Vergini, which is kind of behind the Arsenale, and it's an area you can't really get to unless the Biennale is on. So today I'm in luck. Uh, Casanova visited this place in 1755. He came here with his friend, a guy named Dr. Rigalini, and they were here for the profession of a nun, which means when she takes her vows. And um, during this profession, Rigalini was looking at the other nuns and commenting on the beauty of some of them. And then he boasted that he could have any nun in the city. Uh, he, as long as you know the right people, you have enough money, you can sleep with any of them, he said. And Casanova was aghast at this idea, partly because it was disrespectful, but also because he had been carrying on an affair with one of the nuns. M, M, he calls her in his memoirs, who we think is Marina Morosini. So Casanova tries to sort of call Rigolini's bluff, and they, they formi formulate this plan that Rigolini will go to the pimp, uh, a guy named Count Capucefalo, and uh, arrange to meet with supposedly M, M. Uh, as Rigolini meets with her, um, and then he, he comes up with a pretext to slip away he and Casanova then go to the convent where M.M. lives on Murano. They meet her. Casanova sees for sure she cannot be in two places at the same time. He says she never looked more beautiful to him than at that moment because he knew that she wasn't cheating on him. And so they come back to the original nun who they find out is a prostitute. They, uh, they say, hey, you know, we know what's going on. They take a couple of pistols off of her, an eight-inch stiletto, uh, and they get the whole story that uh, um, she is indeed just pretending to be a nun. In fact, she even says that she has recognized Casanova because he passes under her window sometimes. And that's a story I tell in another video, so you should watch all the videos. Um, and so Rigolini and Casanova go back to this Count Capucefalo, and they say, hey, you know, we think we know what's going on. And, and by the way, isn't that a beautiful diamond ring on your finger? So Rigolini takes the ring, puts it on, pretending to admire it, and decides to keep it, knowing that Capucefalo cannot complain because then he could be arrested as a pimp. So um, that happened here at the place that, where there used to be a convent. Now there's just a few buildings left. Um, in fact, some of the grounds are used for part of the Biennale exhibit uh, every other year. Um, but that happened here in 1755. Uh, I'm alone today, so I'm going to grab the camera and show you a little bit more of the garden. You can see a long row of buildings here. And some of the gardens over here.